So we will stand up all together. Raise our eyes up to the sky. With faith and love in our hearts, we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give what we've been given. Second half of the Rocket League Champions League group stages gets underway today. Hello, fellow Latter day Saints, Kenzie Rachel here, back once again with season five of Rocket League. Um, I know it's been a while, but uh, I'm back, and it's time for the second half of the Rocket League Champions League group stages. It's match day number four. So let's not waste any more time. And it's snowing for our first game of the day. Fantastic. So, let's not waste any more time. Let me just double check I'm actually recording this time. Yep, definitely recording. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I had a bit of a me me mess up there last night. I uh, didn't record my F1 race. So I had to just summarize it in like less than 60 seconds. Brilliant! But nevertheless. It's time to get started with the first match of match day four. The 2018-2019 Rocket League Champions League. Don't forget, the, the bottom two in each group will go into the Rocket League Europa League. Anyway, let's not waste any more time and let's go into our first match. Monaco and Borussia Dortmund. Last time these two met, Monaco beat Borussia 2-1. And in their previous matches, Borussia Dortmund lost 2-1 to Club Bruges. And Atletico Madrid beat Monaco 4-2. So both teams hoping to bounce back with a win here. Time will tell. Five minutes is always, and if it's a tie, they go into golden goal. So yeah, over the next few, over the next, um, over the next couple of weeks, I'm just gonna be finishing up uh, various projects that I'm doing, like I'm finishing this. Uh, I'm finishing off the group stages, uh, finishing off Spider-Man, the. For throwback Thursday, that is. Great save from Buzz. Oh, Retro go for the shot there. Just couldn't quite get the angle on the shot. And oh, there we go. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. Sabretooth has just put Borussia Dortmund ahead. As it stands in the groups, Borussia and Monaco are both at the bottom. With one win apiece, but Borussia crucially ahead on goal difference. And Hound with the short slide, a great save. Clearance there. Here comes Retro. Straight down the middle. What an equalizer for Monaco. No 
no chance of catching that. Retro equalizing for Monaco. Fantastic stuff there. Keeping on the defense. Two minutes to go, still one each. Retro, fantastic clearance. And Retro, second goal of the day! This may just save Monaco's campaign. Whoever wins this match is going to have a serious psychological boost heading into the penultimate group match. And just like that, Storm puts Monaco 3-1 up! Simply fantastic work. Simply fantastic. Slider with the shot! And Dortmund gets one back! Things just got interesting here. Things just got interesting. Slider on top of Retro, 60 seconds left. Can Monaco hold on? Retro clearance once again. And a demolition there. Two demolitions, Storm on Scout, Retro on Sabretooth, Casper clears it! There's not much time. And Casper! What a save from Scout! Can they pull an equalizer in the dying seconds? No, they can't! And Monaco have kept their hopes alive! Now that doesn't give Monaco much. But it puts Dortmund in serious jeopardy of being knocked out of the Champions League. Next up, Atletico Madrid and Club Rouge. I already mentioned their previous match. Last time out. Almost a, almost a goal from kickoff there. 
the last time these two met, Madrid took the win 2 0. And don't forget, folks, in the new year, it's going to be knockout tournaments all the way. Europa League, Champions League, the NBA playoffs, the NFL playoffs, the Stanley Cup playoffs. They're all going to be here. And Casper has just put Bruges ahead. Fantastic stuff there from Bruges. Who are currently second in the group. They are behind on well it's a deadlock between them on goal difference and goals scored but the key difference is that Madrid have that win over Bruges, Casper with two saves from Maverick's shots. Fantastic there. Casper, great defensive work. But there's Retro with the shot. Goes for the opportunity. Couldn't quite get the angle on the shot. Hollywood, double whammy. Retro with a shot of his own. Maverick with a shot of his own. How many shots have these guys had today? They still can't find the target. Retro trying to clear it away from the net. Good clearance there from Hollywood. Fantastic defensive work there from the Madrid team since going behind. And Retro tried to go for the shot but couldn't quite couldn't quite make contact. Two and a half minutes to go. Still 1-0 to Bruges. Things stand. Bruges are going to go top of the group. I mean, Bruges may have lost against Madrid, but they have wins over Monaco, who made the final of the Champions League in 2004. And Atletico Madrid have made the final on a couple of occasions as well. Retro with the opportunity! How on earth are Club Bruges still 1-0 up? Slider with the shot. Hollywood, great save. This is getting very, very juicy now between these teams. There's 90 seconds left. And it's still 1-0 to Bruges. Are they going to go 2-0 up? Slider to Martin Maverick. Oh my goodness me! Great clearance there from Retro. Less than a minute to go. The ball still in the danger area. Could this be the opportunity? Rex scores, Joker with the assist, and Bruja 2-0 up! Simply amazing work there from them. Surely no way back for Madrid now.
Rouge have been outstanding with their defense. Casper in particular. How many saves has he had today? Fifteen seconds left and Club Bruges have edged one step closer to making it into the last 16 of the Rocket League Champions League. And there we go. Club Bruges, 2-0 winners on the night. And crucially, for Atletico Madrid, they are still second on goal difference. Next up, we've got PSV Eindhoven and Tottenham Hotspur. Eindhoven beat Tottenham last time. They met 3-2. And in their last matches, Inter Milan lost to Spurs 3-1. PSV 5-1 against Barcelona in a dominant performance. And just like that, Buzz has just put Eindhoven ahead. Beggars believe how on earth he managed that. That is 1-0 already to PSV Eindhoven. After this, you've got Barcelona and Inter Milan. Last time these two met, last time those two met, it was 4-1 to Milan. Great job there. Roundhouse! Roundhouse demolishing, re demolishing retro. But how made sure it was 2-0 to Eindhoven. And Tottenham are in deep, deep trouble here. And there's Tottenham. Great opportunity just wide of the post. And there we go! 3 0 in with 3 mil 3 0 in just over a minute. Retro assisting buzz. Slipped through the fingers of the keeper there. But what matters? Squall with the shot. Buzz, great save. Sorry about that, folks. I just had a phone call from somebody there. Um, there anyway, we squall with the shot. And Tottenham get one back. Made it look easy. The goal was wide open. Tottenham's defence... Uh, Eindhoven's defence absolutely nowhere. Retro tried to get it back there. Retro! Exquisite style and squall! Wonderful save!
Oh, whoa, heads up. Everyone's all grouped together. Everyone's all grouped together. <laughs> And oh, Retro tried to get it there, but not on this occasion. And oh, Squall, after a great save earlier. May have just got Tottenham back into the game. Three nil down and now they're three two down. Could they possibly pull off a fantastic comeback? Oh my goodness me. Great save there from Storm. About 60 seconds left. And Tottenham still have a chance here. Roundhouse tried to get the shot there, but it wasn't to be. Thirty seconds to go. Great clearance there from Retro, but still in the danger zone. It's a very slim lead that Eindhoven are holding on to, but they may just hold on. Junker demolishing Hound, but it's not enough on the day. And Tottenham are going to need to pull out all the stops to try and advance in this tournament. Barcelona and Inter Milan next. And here we go. This is a fantastic battle. Former Champions League winners in their own right. Inter Milan last winning in 2010. Barcelona winning a few years ago as well. Last time I recall was 2009, but I'm pretty sure they won it afterwards. But they couldn't have done because there was Real Madrid on their dominant run. Then you had Munich. And just like that, sticks with the shot! Retro assisting and it's 1-0. 1-0 to Barcelona. Home team playing, as always, in blue and the away team in orange. My word, Barcelona have just pulled one out of the bag. Really need a strong performance here have any chance of continuing in this competition and just like that Stick scores again with retro assisting fantastic teamwork there and that's 2-0 to Barcelona this is going to push Tottenham to the bottom of the group Red! 
Retro gets one of his own! Retro gets one of his own. And that's 3-0 Barcelona. And we're not even two minutes in. Fantastic display from Barcelona compared to their previous encounter where it was 4-1 to Milan on the night. Shepard with a shot. Couldn't find the target. Retro saying I'll Retro saying I'm having none of that. Into Milan still can't find the net. Are we going to get another one from Retro Sticks? Potentially a hat trick? Nope. Incredible stuff here. Retro almost got it there. Oh, well. Oh, Ooh, unlucky. Very unlucky there. Golden opportunity there to go 4-0 up. But here comes Retro Sticks with the shot! Very good defending there from Inter Milan. Despite being 3-0 down, they are giving it everything on the defensive end. Maverick and Hita both guarding the goal. Beautifully done. Just like that. Great teamwork from them. Now Sultan pushing it upfield. Retro wants to clear it. He may have done just that. No goal for Milan on this occasion. And sticks with the hat trick. No assist needed from Retro. But Retro... Big smile on his face, says it all. Retro for the double! Retro's just sitting back. He's done what he needed to do. And Inter Milan got a taste of their own medicine today. PSV remain top. Barcelona up to second in the group now. Tottenham now bottom. It's still anyone's guess who's going to go through. Now this is the situation 
with Group C. Paris Saint-Germain against Red Star Belgrade next. If Paris lose... Basically, Paris need to win or they are not going to advance to the next stage of the competition. And they will have to settle for the Europa League. Before that, Liverpool and Napoli. Who's going to go top of the group? Last time these two met, Napoli beat Liverpool 3-2 and Red Star Belgrade beat PSG 1-0. And already, Napoli 1-0 up against Liverpool. That didn't take long. And in their last matches, Liverpool beat PSG 5-2 and Red Star Belgrade beat Napoli 4-3. Liverpool mentally have the have the momentum with the win and they're top of the group but they're starting to get a little complacent now because you've got three teams tied on six points in the group but Liverpool ahead on goal difference great save there from Bandit after Hound's shot Clearance there from Retro. And oh, there we go! What an equaliser from Liverpool! Kenzie Retro providing the goal with Bandit on the assist. Simply brilliant. Simply brilliant. Slider with the shot. Retro tried to correct the course, but it wasn't to be. Retro having none of that. And Rich, oh dearie me, Tex. Beautifully done. Tex wonderfully putting Napoli back ahead. Main match of this group is Red Star, Belgrade and Paris Saint-Germain. It is all or nothing for Paris. If they don't win here, they're going to have to settle for being in the Europa League after Christmas. Very tall order at them with, for them at this point. I mean, they've got the most expensive player in the world in the form of Neymar.
Retro got complacent there, and as a result, couldn't get the equalizer. Napoli on the counter attack. Just over a minute to go. Still anyone's guess here. Retro tried to get it there, but it wasn't to be. Forty-five seconds left. Liverpool could still grab an equaliser. Heck, they could still bag a win here, because you never know. Oh, and how just demolished Retro! Retro's going to want payback for that at some point. Myrtle with the shot! Great equaliser! And Liverpool may still win this! And with about 20 seconds to go... Almost got it there, not to be! We're going to overtime, here we go! We are going to overtime! And Squall! No! Huge mistake there! Hound missed, but Slider, a huge mistake, costing them the match. Really unlucky there. And as a result, Napoli go top. Oh boy. This is a stadium that Retro doesn't have the best track record on. But not just that. It's make or break for Paris Saint-Germain now. Paris in blue. Belgrade. Eagle! Paris. They need to win here or it's game over for them. Won't count as an aerial hit, but Retro's already got that aerial hit goal in that fantastic battle between Liverpool and Manchester City, I believe it was. And Tusk! Oh! Uh -oh! Paris have first blood! Here we go! So that's how you play this match. Samara demolishing Goose two 0 up in the space of a minute. The mother of all comebacks could be on the cards here.
Wait just a minute! What a save from Fury! And Tusk has just put Paris 3-0 up. Paris are going absolutely bananas. Because they realize they still have a chance of getting into the last 16. They only would need to win the... They have to, but they, it's still a tall order. They've got to win all three of their final group matches or it's game over. Oh, hello! Hello! Oh my goodness me! Oh my word. Oh my goodness me. This is beggar's bully. You've got to be kidding me. No way a Paris are about to throw a 3-0 lead away. They're already giving away two goals. Are they surely going to give away a third? It's like a scene from a horror film for Paris fans. From absolute joy to absolute fear. They may have just conceded their golden opportunity to start the mother of all comebacks. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. Again, like I said, this is right out of a horror film. They just need to hold on for the next two minutes. This is a suicide mission for Paris at this point. This is a suicide mission for Paris now. All or nothing.
wristbands are left with nothing but heartbreak. Surely not one more goal. Unbelievable. And that is Paris out of the Champions League. Red Star Belgrade have nine points. Napoli have nine. Liverpool have six. Paris cannot finish in the top two now. And with that, Paris are out of the Champions League. They lose this next game, and they finish bottom. of the highest level. Unbelievable. Schalke and Porto next anyway. Last time they met, Porto winning 3-1. And in their previous matches, Galatasaray lost to Porto 2-1. And Schalke lost to Lokomotiv Moscow 1-0. And there we go. Porto Porto have just got one and as it's this is basically a similar situation as with the last group Schalke need to win the next three games to have any chance of advancing to the next stage of the competition and knowing how unpredictable this competition has been so far, anything can still happen. But if Porto win, that's it. Schalke cannot catch the top two. And Schalke will be out of the Champions League. Bradshaw tried to get a shot there, but it wasn't to be. Go and try to go for a shot there, but nowhere near the target. And Schalke need to win. And that goal could have given them the boost they needed. 
But talking of boosts, Retro advancing onwards. And that's one each. There we go. There's the equalizer. Here we go. And just there, oh, disastrous own goal there. But Hita gets credited for it. And that is 2-1. About two minutes to go. Oh, bicycle hit. Unlucky there. Go and get to the equalizer, though. Demolition there. And oh! Brutal demolition. What on earth happened there? Gerwin scored, but what happened with Retro? Did he get demolished by Gerwin? Beggars believe he did. Shot there from Retro, not to be. And that's four! I think what Schalke have just done is given themselves a crucial lifeline. May have just given themselves a crucial lifeline here. And even then it might not be enough. They need results to go in their favour. And there we go. Schalke keep their hopes alive in the Champions League. Lokomotiv Moscow 
and Galatasaray next. Last time these two teams met, Moscow won 2 1. Moscow with a 100% record in the campaign at the moment. They have the home turf advantage. Can they make full advantage of it? Almost won for them already. Great demolition there from Retro on Scout. Sultan almost getting a goal there, but not to be. And there it is, wide open, 1-0 to Moscow. This win will guarantee they get into the next stage of the competition. And then it will just be a battle for that second place spot. All four teams for now are still within a chance of either going through or being eliminated. Boing. Oh, wonderful save there. Oh, unlucky there from Retro. Got bumped out of the way. Oh my word, if this goes in... to Lokomotiv Moscow. 2-0 up. A stellar performance. Anything you can do, I can do better, says Scout. And Kenzie takes his hat off to him. Metaphorically and literally. I guess it's just like, yeah, fair play. Fair play. And they shake hands. Oh, no way. Is that an equalizer? No way! <laughs> and just like that, within the span of like 20 seconds, Galatasaray 2 0 up! about that
Here comes Retro! Storming in like a thief in the night! Retro with a hat trick. He takes the assist. Fantastic match we have witnessed here today. And Lokomotiv Moscow, who haven't been in the Champions League for some time, have only gone and punched their ticket into the last 16 with games to spare. The first team to officially qualify for the last 16. Congratulations to Lokomotiv Moscow.